Hi guys, welcome back for another Matchbox Garage video. I'm Rob, and today I'm going to attempt to take this Volkswagen Beetle from shabby to shiny. Now I'd only had this little car in my collection for all of five minutes, and my wife noticed it and said, Oh, that's mine. I want a green one. So, I do as my wife says, and uh, let's begin. So, we're going to take out the rivets first, drill down the centre of the post, take off the flange, and then tap the hole. I shall be using my very handy vice, so that I don't put the drill through my hand. So now that the screw's in place, we're going to remove the screw, take off the base, just have a little look at what we're working with. The wheels on this car are, to be honest, pretty knackered and straight away I knew that I'm going to have to go for a suitable wheel swap on this one interior good condition the tow hooks broke so that will be coming off now this is one that I did earlier so took down the rivet there and the glass is in good condition just needs a bit of a, a spruce up So let's start by taking the wheels off. And what I did notice was that it was a little loose on the front end. And it'd be a shame because in order to get this back on, you almost have to scrape the paint, uh, which I didn't want. So I decided just to pull out that front bumper a bit. So with that pulled out a bit, you can see that the angle there, it just gives enough clearance so that it pops back in without having to scuff the paint. But now I'm finding that it's loose. So, further modification required. So this time, on the actual casting itself, I just pulled forward the front there so that once it was in position, it gave enough tension or push against the rear post. And now it's perfect. Doesn't scrape. Ah, that was just some uh, yellow paint from the Lotus Europa that I recently done. Check it out if you haven't already. So now that that's uh, put back into the right shape, let's get the paint off. I use caustic soda. So pop the cast in there into some boiling water and then add a couple of teaspoons of caustic soda. Be very careful with this. It's very dangerous. Certainly if you are gonna use it Please do wear gloves, eye protection, and some ventilation. Normally, 30 seconds to a minute is all that's needed. 
to have the uh, paint taken down. Now I did notice that this beetle, considering the condition that it was in, the paint held up really strong. So actually off camera I did add another two teaspoons of caustic soda. And then just a couple of minutes later, with a little rinse in the sink, this is what we're left with. Still, not every bit of paint was removed, but that's easily rectified using the wire wall bit on my Lidl's Dremel, and it looks as good as new. So you notice here for the first time, I've actually got a, a paint booth, and uh, I no longer need to be breathing it in. So that's a bonus. So I'm using the Tamiya Fine. This is a grey paint. Probably should have used the white considering the colour that I ended up going with. It was fine, but it certainly took a few more coats than, say, if I'd used uh, the white. Now, it was at this point that I realised this just wasn't going on right. I'm not sure whether I properly or for long enough shook up the can and as you can see that is just not good enough so I had to strip it down again and this is round two made sure to truly and fully shake the can up I also heated up the casting a little bit just over the radiator uh, whether that makes any difference whatsoever I don't know but certainly round two much better and the finish was as expected uh, and what I'm used to on, on all these little cars now so that's more like it Now colour wise I went with probably a, a 10 to 1 ratio with 10 parts being white and one part being a Tamiya X5 green. It was literally just a couple of drops of green and then around about a 2 to 1 ratio of the thinner. Now this green is almost the same as the old camper um, but also the, as I'm looking at it now, the milk float, that kind of green, um, very light. And the reason for, for this green is because uh, I bought my wife a green beetle about five years ago. And actually you'll, you'll, you'll notice um, if you are a very old subscriber um, that I did some work on a beetle. Some of the videos are still up. Uh, in the back library if you've got any interest. It's not this shape beetle, it's the newer one, but still, that's what she, uh, that's her kind of dream car. But this was just the first little light coat and then off camera I can concentrate on getting uh, three to four coats. So I borrowed the wheels from this modern matchbox. It was a Chevy, I think, something like that. But the wheels look good and they fit and that's what I'll be using I had to because of the width of them I had to kind of play about a little bit just to try and find where the right position of these wheels would be just so that you know, it would look right. Um, you know, I got there in the end. 
but uh, with the base in my hand let's give it a nice little polish so as we can see 1968 this one so it's over over 50 years old um, you know, I still find it amazing every day playing with these on, on how old they are so I'm just going to put in some little detail paint the headlights paint the front number plate there and then pop the plastics into some warm soapy water and once it's out give it a little bit of a polish and then using the Pledge Revive It floor gloss just brings out the shine always handy to have a bit of uh, tissue nearby just to blot off any excess uh, that you may have otherwise it will dry and you'll see it as a build up um, it's so clear that my camera can't even pick it up it doesn't even realize it's in front of it but uh, no it looks good so moving on to the interior we're going to chop off this broken tow hook and I'm just going to roughly do it here and then off camera again I just neaten it up uh, smoothed it around just so that it wasn't visible on the car once everything was put back together so there's that little bit of uh, paint I was saying just in the headlights and in the number plate there I have been trying to use a little bit of black to kind of paint back in these numbers but I don't know I'm not having too much luck so I did file down uh, you can't really see it too clearly on camera maybe a little bit there but I filed down so that the silver come through the white so it was in person more visible so there's the glass now all dry and I'm just gonna put in a few little extra details rear lights etc and then I'll hold off for you to see it all in the in the big reveal so just as a little reminder of what we started out with and the result I love this little car absolute perfect color I think the wheels suit it uh, as you can see I've done some little details in the uh, in the front headlights in the front indicators the door handles the rear lights the number plates front and back even that that rear um, badge as well but yeah super happy anyway guys thanks very much for watching hopefully you'll stick around for the next one